All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to prove the squeeze theorem, at least for sequences, which says the following. So claim, if you have three sequences, a, n, s, n, and b, n, if a, n, s, n, and b, n are sequences, such that s, n is squeezed between a, n, and b, n, so s, n is less than or equal to a, n, less than or equal to b, n, and the limit as n goes to infinity of a n equals s, which is the same as the limit of the bigger sequence. So if the smaller sequence converges to the same thing as the bigger sequence, again, and the limit is finite, then the middle sequence also converges to s. Really, a picture says a thousand words. So again, suppose you have a sequence Sn that is squeezed between An and Bn. So this is An, this is Bn, which both converge to S, and Sn is just a sequence that's sort of in between. Then this forces Sn to also converge to S. Okay, and how do we prove this? It's a very nice uh, exercise in the um, definition of a limit. So let epsilon be given. Then what do we know? We know, first of all, because a n converges to s, we know that there is N1 such that if N is bigger than N1, then AN is very close to S. So in other words, absolute value of AN minus S is less than epsilon. Which again, let's write this in terms of inequalities. This means a n minus s is between epsilon and minus epsilon, and so a n is between s plus epsilon and s minus epsilon. Okay. We'll need this in a second, but also we know that there is n2 such that if n is bigger than n2, then Bn minus S is less than epsilon. So that is by convergence of Bn. And what this means is Bn minus S is between minus epsilon and epsilon. So Bn is between S plus epsilon and S minus epsilon. Very good, and then the rest is just combining those inequalities. So, since we want both things to happen, you choose the maximum of n1 and n2. So let n be the maximum of n1 and n2. Then, if n is bigger than capital N, then what do we get? Then what we want to show is that Sn minus S is small. So let's look at Sn minus S. On the one hand, or maybe, yeah, on the one hand, since Sn is less than or equal to uh, Bn, this is less or equal to Bn minus s, and this is greater or equal to An minus s. On the other hand, we know that An minus s, it's bigger than minus epsilon. 
by this part. On the other hand, Vn minus s is less than epsilon by this part. So let's combine this. So what do we get? We know that Sn minus s, well, that squeeze between minus epsilon and epsilon, but this is just the same thing as saying that absolute value of Sn minus s is less than epsilon. And voila, you are done, because you needed to find some capital N such that if, so find capital N such that if N is bigger than capital N, then Sn minus S is less than epsilon. And therefore, the limit, the limit as N goes to infinity of Sn is just S. Ta-da! All right. And that's it. Thank you.